hello guys and welcome to a brand new video today i'm here with rupan the third part 2 episode number 124 and 138 reactions these two are also recommended to me and i'm going to react to these two episodes today okay uh the previous week i reacted to two episodes uh one of which was the the one with Zenigata, where Zenigata meets a girl called Laura. Like there was this thing with the billionaire that was happening. The billionaire died, and since the secret of the safe was with Laura, and there was like a bomb thing that was planted in her, uh, the mafia was actually trying to get her. Uh, Zenigata tried to save her, but unfortunately, by the end of it, he was unsuccessful. And Zenigata, like I, I think that was like this was the first time Zenigata actually asks rupan directly for help he just goes to him and he's like help me out and this really shows how uh important this was to zenigata and it's like you know like seeing him lose her like that uh, that was sad and in the end we see how zenigata takes his revenge the mafia he just straight up kills them you know like using the bomb and like he doesn't kill them but using the bomb like you know rupan's group does it but still, like, you know, he allowed that to happen, which really showed how serious he was and how um, saddened he was after Laura died. And he needed to calm down that burning hatred or the revenge that he wanted to get. And uh, yeah, that was a sad episode, but it was an interesting episode seeing Zenigata like that. And uh, yeah, and by the end of it, he kind of jumped back and he was like, get out of here, Lupin, or otherwise I'll, like, you know, get you again and arrest you from the next day onwards i'm again going to go back to my old personality i'm going to get you <laughs> yeah but i'm sure he was hurting still mm -hmm. that was that episode then the next one which was a lot darker uh going on gets captured by these two p person wolf and rose i think yeah they were like some contract killer assassin something like that and they wanted to prove that they were the best captured uh, Goemon and tortured him and that torture scene was kind of dark you know uh, because they were actually showing us the different men like they were not uh, like, you know, just showing it to us but I know you know like, they were kind of uh, giving us hints what's, to ha what's happening like they were not showing the bro gore portions obviously like uh, otherwise the whole <laughs> you know like the, the show will get um, and I probably just blocked or something censored because of censorship but it was very easy to understand what was happening and it was like you know kind of uncomfortable to watch at times but goemon kept you know his loyalty he was so brave and he was just just didn't give out anything rupan comes in and there was like a bonding moment they save him and in the end goemon is the one who takes them down like because they they fought just face to face before that they caught him by trickery but this time goemon was like nah i'm going to complete this and he ended the whole thing and in the end we see like goemon jigen and um uh goemon jigen and rupan uh happily like you know just <laughs> laughing joking and just going on their own way and that was nice to see you know like the the bond the friendship or the loyalty that they actually share between them and especially for goemon because goemon is a samurai like that's a huge thing for him but yeah, anyways, the, that's, those, two, those two episodes were fantastic. Let's see what these two episodes bring. Uh, first, I'm going to react to episode number 124. So let's get started. So I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it whichever is your preference and let's start. All right, uh, okay, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Okay. <laughs> I like that dress that Rupan is wearing, the white one, you know, like, I'm, I th don't think I've ever seen him wearing that. She, he actually looks like a, a phantom thief in that, you know, like with that cap and that white dress. But I guess Rupan isn't a phantom thief, is he? Like, Rupan is just a thief, uh, like, he kind of... Sometimes, like, you know, like, actually leaves call cards. Uh, it's kind of a mixture, I have to say. Like, you know, like, 
what what phantom thieves actually do as far as i know is like they give a call card before you know like actually going and robbing things or stealing things and like then they do it so easily while ruban also does have done that multiple times but normal robbery he also does that so i think he's a mixture of both okay what is that what the? it's like a team rocket <laughs> with the okay wait poverty and starvation Wait, who these does these two characters remind me of? Some cartoon or something? The lady especially with the little glass. Oh, that's a popcorn machine? Okay. Oh my god. Yo, don't fall! That's some huge popcorn. It is successful, isn't it? Or maybe not. <clears> hmm. <throat> there you go, successful. Those looks like potatoes, not popcorn. <laughs> okay. So it multiplies the corn into Those really look like potatoes. Oh no. This whole place is gonna get flooded with pop. Okay. It it's flying away. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> But still, you know, there's like a... Ninety... Nineteen ninety-nine popcorn trip. What? Nineteen ninety-nine. Okay. Um... What's happening here? <laughs> what is <laughs> oh my god i don't believe that <laughs> oh is that so That was the... Go to the moon. <laughs> oh my, I think like the popcorn thing will come. Yes, there you go. Oh my god, whoa, these are huge. God damn. What? It just went to space. Um, okay, I guess. Heh. <laughs> 
Oh, okay, okay. Thanks for the translation. Moon rocket with popcorn in it. <laughs> Wait, oh, oh my god. Yeah, you won't have to tell him twice, you know. Yeah, using popcorn? I don't think so. Oh my god, here we go. Okay, what is this place? Oh, that that guy. Okay. Oh, I, I they tracked him down. Okay, makes sense. <laughs> What's this random hole in the pancho? Oh! Ah! Um, leave someone here on... Okay, there you go. <laughs> you substitute teacher for a few days? Yes. Everyone will be so excited. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Until when? What about his wife? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, you never- you didn't tell her what- Wait, his wife lives in someplace else? Oh, this is a farm. Right? <laughs> oh my god. All right. Wait, the, the chickens are making more noise than... <laughs> Wait, what the? What? Oh my god. This. They're here for a <laughs> school, school trip or whatever. Okay, they're having fun, I guess. Another bus? Oh, is that Zenny? No. Who are you? What? Oh my god! Yo! <laughs> Wait, is that Zenny Gata? That was a random. <laughs> oh, okay. Popcorn throwing. Uh, no, sorry. Corn throwing. What? Ah. 
Oh my god, this this episode is wild. Why is Oh wow. Good maneuvering. Oh come on. Come on, your turn. <laughs> there you go. Ooh. It is it, Zengada's fault. Oh my, come on. Come on, yeah. Okay. Oh no, they'll be pissed. They'll be pissed. Oh, oh my. <laughs> yeah, what did it say? Oh, oh okay, okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, what? Great. <laughs> Yo! He just zapped it! <laughs> My god. Oh, here we go. Wait, is that. Oh, okay, never mind. I thought that was like a huge bottle of sauce or something. I don't know why I thought of that. Kind of looks like it. <laughs> oh my god, this guy's gonna get in trouble now. Okay, let's see if... Oh, there, I really are. Oh no, is any guy that's gonna come barging in? Just... Screaming on the top of his lungs, let's see. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. Oh no. Oh. Okay. 150th. Okay. Then what? Wow, these are some... Wait, who... Oh! <laughs> oh, there you go! Let's go! I'm wondering how they're going to do this.
So they're like, what's happening? What is that thing? <laughs> Not in the face of popcorns. There you go. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh, oh, there you go. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Yes. Oh my God, he's ready. He's like, yeah, there you go. Time to bust you out. What? What are those? Oh, wait, what? Oh, those are popcorns. Okay, they're here for reloading. Maximum. Oh, they're going to blast out of this thing, I think. Oh. Okay, they're going to make this like a sea of popcorn. But then how would they... Okay, they're going to get... <laughs> My god! <laughs> Like a, a small village can eat for like you know months with the amount of popcorn that this place has. Oh my god, look at this. Oh, not months, probably years. Oh! <laughs> wow, this is a really groundbreaking invention, you know? Like how many corns did they use? And look at how much popcorn is gathering. Not to worry. <laughs> Hopefully we went through so much principle. Extra salt. Oh, wait. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Finally, let's see. <laughs> Just because Fujiko said that I want to go to the moon. My God, this is. Insane. <laughs> there you go, the salt is here. All right. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> uh. All right, the salted corner inside. Eating. 
Oh no, did she? Oh no! Oh no! Oh! Oh! Oh my god, it's like burnt popcorns. Is this going to go under? It's going under. It went under, okay. Well, <laughs> at least you can reach the Earth's, you know, like inner core, mantle core, whatever, you know. Instead of going up. Sugar! Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> well, now at least Zenigata's like you know boss would be happy. He'll be like Okay, um, <clears throat> I'm, I'm, I'm not letting this, like, you know, end. I'm going to watch the ending as well. Let's see. Um, because I've not heard the ending before. And since, like, there's nothing to get spoiled. <clears throat> okay. What is that? Oh. Okay, this is a nice song. I think that's the end. Yep. Okay. Um. So <laughs> this episode. Um. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> I was not expecting something like this. <laughs> okay. First of all, this is guy, this professor or scientist or whatever, and his wife. Now I don't know where I. Oh my God. This his wife seems so familiar. You know, especially like the face, which is like a. What do you call that? Like a pear shaped face, you know, with the little eyes and the little two spectacles on just on top of her nose, small little, and the eyes are very high up. This style, I feel like I've seen some cartoon a long time ago where there's like there was an old lady who looked who had the same design like this, you know, little spectacles just on top of the nose, pear shaped face with small little eyes. I don't remember who it is, but I feel like I've seen a character like this before. Like a lot of cartoon had this type of a design, you know, when uh, the, the like you know the when when we you know the Tom and Jerry all that things used to come, Looney Tunes, Roadrunner show, those used to air in television. This this type of a design was very common in cartoons, so <laughs> it really reminded me of that. This lady reminds me of someone I can't remember. But anyways, um, 
Okay, yeah, this, 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 um, what's his name? This professor, he, at first he started making the popcorn machine because he wanted his village to eat properly. So he's like, all right, I'm going to make an invention. And I'm guessing that what the invention does is it increases the amount of popcorn that comes out and it like makes them bigger or something. I don't know. That's why, you know, you know, like little amounts of corns could result to so much popcorn and you you know what that's a very good invention you know like <clears throat> if an invention can multiply the amount of popcorn that you can make with the same amount of corn that's amazing you know you're, you're basically as as he said he is making sure that uh <clears throat> his villagers can have food for i don't know two three years like that and with minimal amount of um expenditure so <laughs> he makes the popcorn and it was successful but the thing was so strong it just went out into space and he was like ah we failed but we continue you know we're going to do this again in the future but for now these popcorns will be enough for my village and everyone can be happy and all the villagers were extremely like you know happy they were like ah we're going to eat popcorn and you know what like i guess like you know like in <clears throat> when you're hungry everything's amazing but i feel like they're going to get a little bit bored if they start eating popcorn every day and the nutrition balance is also going to get pretty messed up you know you need proper nutrition like only popcorn won't help you you're going to get weaker and weaker so i think this professor should have like you know just after making this popcorn machine he should have started a new invention <laughs> where i don't know it multiplied something else which had some other nutrients in them so <laughs> this will work for a few days uh because as i said nutritional balance balance is a big thing <clears throat> eating popcorn every day <clears throat> won't help you <clears throat> so <laughs> Okay, now Rupan and Fujiko's just you know just sitting and laying on the in the car, and Rupan is like, <laughs> like this is really, this really throws me off about Fujiko. I don't know what the hell she wants and what she's thinking half of the time. It's just like one time she's just so happy and the other time he, she's just betraying Rupan, trying to kill him. And I'm like, damn, like just <laughs> just calm down, make up your mind. <laughs> but. <clears throat> yeah okay now rupan is like just you know just laying down looking at the stars and everything and as always rupan tries to kiss fujiko and fujiko's like no you need to make this a better mood not better mood but a better place um let's go to the moon then i'll like you know kiss <laughs> then we can continue and now <laughs> the popcorn machine falls down and it's just no the, not not the machine but the popcorn falls and Rupan is like, oh, I have an idea. Let's go to the moon using popcorn energy or whatever he said. Okay, Zenigata, as always, I don't know where he got to know that, that, that Lupan is trying to do, like, you know, harvest popcorn energy and go to moon. I don't know where he heard that, because in that moment, only Rupan and Fujiko was present there. But he somehow got to know. <laughs> he, he's like, all right, we need to get Rupan. And the, <laughs> the chief was hilarious here. He's like, oh, the Japanese, they are always like, you know, getting in my way, you know, I'm <laughs> and now they're trying to, um, you know, like, like use what popcorn energy to go to space. Look what will, like, you know, our uh, reputation will go after this happens. Um, I have to disagree, you know, if someone actually <laughs> goes to space using popcorn energy, I think it will be a very huge thing. And... <laughs> It'll be a little bit silly, but you have to give props to their, you know, like their, to their scientific, uh, you know, creativity. And I think it would have been made the reputation even more. But this guy has some other ideas. He's like, nope, our reputation is going to just go in, in the dust. And <laughs> I don't know why this guy, <laughs> this guy reminded me of um, Joseph from Jojo, you know, like. <laughs> but Joseph says that I will never forgive the Japanese. <laughs> in the airport <laughs> this guy gives up same energy he's like uh, the japanese they're just they're just you know like <laughs> doing crazy stuff and i can't handle it <laughs> oh my god that was funny oh. 
<laughs> and Zenigata said, yep, I'll get him right away and just goes on his way. He's so happy. He's like, yeah, I'm finally getting a chance to get Rupan again. He doesn't care about the popcorn machine. He just wants to capture Rupan. So, <laughs> uh, Rupan tracks down this guy, the professor, and <clears throat> Like the professor is like you know he, he seems like a really genuinely good guy. He just you know just thinking about his people and just like you know just teaching kids stuff and everything and uh, like you know just just a happy like you know living on a happy and fulfilled fulfilled life. Uh, he and his wife and um just sec oh my god ah uh, the sneeze went away uh, great. Anyways, um, so yeah, and <clears throat> he's like, I need to keep someone substitute as in my place here. And so Rupan's like, ah, Fujiko, you handle it. <laughs> and and as if we remember, you know, like in the in one of the movies, Fujiko has already said, like, I'm really bad with kids, and you know, like I'm not comfortable with them. Uh, if you remember that movie, uh, Fujiko Mine's Lie, where that was the, basically the reason why she, like, you know, like, uh, like uh, the, the guy that was, like, you know, the, the, the main villain, he was kind of like a kid. And that's why he, she had so much problem with him. So, <clears throat> like, here, uh, like, obviously, like, you know, like, Fujiko's whole thing is putting on a mask. So kids are some like you know something that you know like can easily break that mask away like can look behind your mask and peek at your actual face which probably makes Fujiko uncomfortable like kids are genuine and kids are just pure so like it, it's tough you know like putting on a mask in front of kids they will easily be able to uh, you know like look at your original face even without trying like that's the thing and i i'm i feel fujiko really is not comfortable with that that's why he's always she's always flustered to act like you know, to uh, uh, handle kids and but here she kind of like you know just had like you know proper i guess like she was able to adapt pretty nicely and <laughs> still she was a little bit uncomfortable but yeah now they go to I don't know like a farm or something yeah um with the corns all planted and the, the professor starts just researching taking notes rupan and you know goemon jig and they're all like using like and just taking corns and harvesting them doing stuff and my god at first comes in um Ujiko, and they're like ah look at them like just click some pictures and let's go you go away and then comes the second bus like some random lady comes out and i'm like who the hell is this we've never seen her before and <laughs> and then i see the kids in the like a bus bus and i'm like wait a minute are the aren't these kids kids a little bit low definition like what happened to their faces and boom those were actually sketches of like you know like this like a disguise and some <laughs> police officers just pop out start attacking them and Rupan somehow manages to get hold of them and stop them and just throws them away. But the professor is not happy. He's like, nope, no, like, you know, like, no peace here. What should we do? And I can't do it like this. And Rupan, I guess he hatches an idea. Next time he goes in and tells the chief that, you know what, I'm going to give the professor to you guys while you need to give me a rocket. And the chief is like, yeah, deal. Like, you know, like if, if you don't have the professor, you can't use po harvest popcorn energy or whatever you're trying to do. So yeah, take your rocket. I doubt you're going to, you're, you're going to be able to use that and give the professor to us. Um, no more popcorn energy, that, that's enough. Zenigata was obviously not happy with that because Rupan went, got away. <laughs> but yeah, Rupan exchanged them. In, in like you know, uh, in exchange of uh, the rocket. Now, first things first, the rocket problem is gone. Even if they were able to use a popcorn energy, if they didn't have any rocket, what are they going to do with it? So the rocket is with them, and Rupan is like, all right. So I have a the thing with me that the transmitter or whatever, not transmitter, sorry, um, the the bug or what do you call them? Uh, 
the one which uh, takes sound in i forgot the actual term anyways let's leave that um that thing the microphone or whatever and he he's keeping an ear uh, open to listen to them and like just understand when they have finished it they finish the uh, research process and he's like all right let's go he uses a popcorn uh, machine go there and starts shooting popcorn at everyone this episode was insane what <laughs> And he gets down and the, the professor and the, his wife was ready. They're like, all right, here you are. Finally, let's go. And Rupan is ready with everything. Some more cons to reload the machine and just uses it in full power. All the popcorn is coming out. It's a sea of popcorn. The whole building is filled with popcorn. And in their lifeboat or whatever, they're just fine sailing in popcorn. <laughs> Zenigata and the chief, they are like <laughs> they are like, oh my god, Rupan is here again, this and that. And they also get just uh thrown out of the room because of the popcorn. Again, like this scene, the whole Zenigata grabbing <laughs> the chief's trousers, and it's like one is coming out, he's grabbing another one, another is coming out. And <laughs> That obviously that is another uh, way that they used to do in cartoons quite a long time ago, you know, like just this this repeated thing of you know like I've I've seen this scene, uh, Zenigata, the scene that we saw here multiple times in multiple cartoons, and um, it's probably like you know because of that, and it, this this came out almost at that time I think when those type of cartoons used to come out, and it kind of made me a little bit nostalgic about this because yeah like we, we usually don't see stuff like that anymore you know this this type of a goofy comedy you know where like it's, it's this weird type of a thing where you know like someone gets smacked in their head with uh, i don't know a baseball bat or something and their head kind of gets deformed for a moment for a few seconds and then it gets back to its original shape like this type of a comedy you know like it's, it's like impossible to happen this doesn't happen in real life but they used to do it and like you know someone walks off a cliff and it seems like they're floating because they don't understand they look down first and they're like oh my god i'm falling down and then they fall down like this type of nonsensical um you know comedy scenes we used to have them a lot back in the days uh <laughs> in the days of tom and jerry and all that stuff like we still have them but you know like this style is not used nowadays. Nowadays, the, the the comedy is a lot more realistic. You can say, you know, like it's it's just you know like weird stuff like this doesn't happen. There are exceptions, however. Gintama is one exception. I feel like like the comedy in Gintama is just wild completely. It's just insane. Um, and there are also a few other exceptions, but still, this this style it kind of made me nostalgic because we used to have them a lot before. <laughs> So okay, um <clears throat> all right, and then they're like the Rupan is like, okay, so what did you know? How can we get to the moon? How can we harvest the popcorn energy or whatever? And he's like, Oh, just add salt. And I'm like, alright, alright. If that'll work. <laughs> and everyone's ready, the rocket is ready, you know, like the the wife is just taking all the like, you know, uh making the salt or whatever just putting them in jars and uh, yeah everything's ready the wife comes in just puts in the um uh <laughs> the salt that she thought in the thing and she goes back and she's like wait a minute did i make the cliched mistake of putting <laughs> sugar instead of salt you know the mistake that a lot of anime characters make nowadays like you know like that that whole cliched joke of oh i put sugar instead of salt or i put salt instead of sugar like you know like this 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 cliched mistake like characters who cannot cook in anime usually does this you know they they usually does this thing and <laughs> i feel like this is the origin of that cliche <laughs> That would be kind of hilarious, you know, if this really was the origin of that cliche, you know, like she, this lady, she uses sugar instead of salt. And this is how it started this whole cliche that we see nowadays. 
my god that, that'll be funny if it actually is that case um <laughs> so yeah okay um wait a minute uh salt is sodium chloride in acl sugar i think sugar is um c12 h22 o11 or something let me check sugar formula i think it's something like that c12 h oh okay here we go c12 h22 okay yeah and o11 there you go yeah so it's basically uh carbon hydrogen and oxygen oh my god very yeah obviously like you know like sodium and chloride instead of sodium and chloride you're using a, a carbo like you know like a hydrocarbon i think that's what you call these so it's basically yeah like you're using glucose instead of like oh my god obviously it is going to go completely crazy because <laughs> yeah this is a completely different thing the it was supposed to go up and it starts going down and i'm like okay <laughs> i guess this is also romantic in a way <laughs> instead of going to the moon you're going to the <laughs> earth's mantle and crust and yeah you can have fun there as well it'll be a little bit hot but i'm sure they can manage and uh, yeah rupan and fujiko's like what what's happening and they're just going down <laughs> <laughs> and jigen and zeniga uh, jigen and goemon is like all right let's check out the map now and let's go to the other side of the world and um yeah i guess that's what they're going to do <laughs> wow this episode was um really wild <laughs> okay that was funny so yeah that was episode 120 124 so now i'm going to react to episode 138 and uh, yeah that was really funny i liked it so let's see what this episode brings this is episode number 138 of rupan the third season two i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here think it whichever is your preference and let's get started okay here's a countdown three Two, one, go. <clears throat> All right. Hmm. <clears throat> Okay. Oh, what's the music? What's with the music? <laughs> what? What is this, some vacation episode or something? Like, the crew is here on vacation? Oh my god, they really are on vacation. Pompeii. Basically is working. Oh. 
my god. <laughs> yeah. My god. Tidal wave. Ooh. The greatest game. Who's random? Okay. Where's Rupan? He's not here. Treasure of Pompeii and the venomous snakes. Lucia. <laughs> what the? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> but you're rejecting him, so why? Okay, never mind. My <laughs> god! <laughs> oh, again, Zenigata gets captured. I feel like Rupa's deliberately following them to just piss them off. Oh, wow! It is. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, oh! <laughs> he tied it to his... Where did he get that? How did they get there? Okay. <laughs> Whoa, I thought... Okay, don't break the oh my god Zenigata you're you're causing property damage and that's like a historical monument or something uh, oh no okay there you go <laughs> <laughs> there you go let's go Hmm. <laughs> uh, oh no. What's happening? What? Okay, I don't know how he's doing that, but he's somehow doing it. <laughs> wow, the pan is stronger than his car. Oh my god. <laughs> oh! Oh no. Hmm. Oh, he, he jumped, I think. He jumped.
<laughs> Wait. <laughs> That's my real. Oh, this lady. <laughs> you actually are a thief. Well, you just. Huh. Of course I can. Secrets. It's I. Ah! Um. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, okay, that makes sense. Oh, really? Okay. My God, look at that. <laughs> Snakes. What? You're snapping pictures? <laughs> He's doing research. Yeah, she doesn't like frogs in itself. So snakes, I guess. Why does the snake have an eye patch? Okay. Stole them. <laughs> like just round them up. Within ten seconds, we need to push the antidote. Just keep that in mind. What? Is that Rupa? Yeah, my god. What what are those balloons? What? Oh, interesting. Snakes are going to Yeah. <laughs> My god, look at that. <clears throat> oh my god, they're actually... Oh no! <laughs> Pushing the antidote within 10 seconds. <laughs> Quick! <laughs> oh no the time is what are you doing
<laughs> well, at least you reached the great. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> oh my God, he is back here again. <laughs> Not, not them, but Lupin. <laughs> Emotional damage. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> no, I feel like there's something in the balloon. Oh my, wait, did he? <laughs> Jenny Gata, you need the antidotes. I don't think that. Let's run away. lady <laughs> what did she come here for oh maybe rupan is oh rupan is there with her okay yeah rupan is there with her probably in the there you go <laughs> yeah, she probably has some <laughs> Oh no! Yo! <laughs> wow, this is this is Fujiko part 2 here. We can see but at least she's out she's outright not killing him. Oh Lord. Why is she taking Rupan with her? What what is this place? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's, yeah. He's going to. Look at the music. Wait, this is that girl. I, it took me so long to understand that. Oh my god. It, it took me... Okay. There's that girl that Zenigata was always... Okay, she, he grabbed the key, I think. Oh no. <laughs> oh, oh, that's what he's doing. Okay. Okay, the, 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 the gate will be, I think. He's going to He's going to tie it to the gate, yeah? There you go. Oh my god.
There you go. All right, grab onto it. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, she already he already put the okay. <laughs> oh, okay, there you go. Oh. <laughs> Are they going to take disguises or something? Oh no. You, you, you're doing the same thing to him. I, I feel like everyone, okay. Oh, wait, that, <laughs> that was. That okay, yeah, there you go. Okay, it took me a while to understand that. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> She's <laughs> Oh, that was <laughs> Okay, the final one. I'm guessing Rupan will be here. Who's this macaroni? There you go. <laughs> yeah. She's like, she's like, wait a minute. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> No. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh no, I feel like there's something. Wait, what is that? Maybe they're expensive or something. With some. Uh... These are pretty valuable. What? The snakes were. Protecting that?
That's that's what I was saying. Wow, this episode, what? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay, let's see, is the opening the same? Yeah, it's the same opening. Uh, not opening, sorry, ending. Okay, um, haha, <laughs> this episode, wow, um, <laughs> I lost it at that part, the final part where he was like, she was like, oh, you're, you're, you're a monkey. And he just, she just leaves. Zenigata's laughing at Rupan. <laughs> and she's like, oh, this is a girl. <laughs> just <laughs> the way she screamed over there. <laughs> that was okay. I, oh, uh, God, what? <laughs> Well, oh, uh. <sighs> I was pretty surprised in the end to see Zengata actually chasing um, the girl. I'm like, what's happening? Like, he always like fusses so much about Rupan, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> Wow, oh my god, another funny episode this one. Um so these guys are at um place I what, what Na Na Naples, yeah. And they came here because of finding a treasure. <clears throat> and Okay, now at the beginning we already meet that uh, lady. You no, know, like she comes and asks for a little donation and then just leaves and okay so then we see see that girl with with all the different macaroni or whatever the names were those three uh people those three men <laughs> and i'm i thought like okay so this is like this girl and this guy is like probably a, a gag a running gag for this episode like you know, like, like all always, then others going to going to come and try to like you know going to mess their whole thing up, and she's going to get annoyed with it. So I thought it was because of that, she was there, and the funny thing, I actually didn't even recognize her when they showed her actual identity. It was it took me quite a lot amount of time to actually realize this girl and that girl are the same, and I'm. <laughs> I don't know why I did not recognize her at that moment, but yeah, like that was that was unusual. I I really did not recognize her, or because I don't. That's probably why. Because as I said, like I thought like she was just there as a gag character for this episode, and that would be it. So I didn't even pay attention that much to her appearance. So <laughs> okay. Anyways, um, so Zenigata as always get somehow gets. They can know some information that Rupani is here. Rupani is like, how did you get this information? He's like, oh, I have people in Interpol, this and that. And <laughs> so, Zenigata actually, he loses his handcuff, didn't he? Just a second, let me see. Oh no, not here. Where, when does he lose his handcuff? Oh, it's later on, okay. Uh, at first, he uses his handcuff to get Rupan, but Rupan tricks him using his uh, jacket <laughs> and they're off now <clears throat> then in the car chase scene he uses his handcuff to try to get Rupan and here's where he loses his handcuff first of all Rupan somehow brings out a pan which is like an indestructible pan it, it reflects <laughs> all the bullets and completely wrecks the car I don't know what the hell that pan was but you should probably make some armor with that because you know like something like that which is like reflecting bullets that's a very handy thing <laughs> oh my god but yeah now they, they they fall down from the cliff but rupan already had you know like the the handcuff he used that to kind of i guess kind of grab onto the tree and <clears throat> grab the handcuff from him um 
I, I was I was more surprised to see the handcuff actually having a fishing wheel on the other side. But I guess that's how he you know kind of retracted it back to him. So Zenigata loses his handcuff, which I thought this is like a random thing that happened, but actually the handcuff comes in handy later on in this episode. So here's where Rupan meets. What what was the name of her? Um name of the sister? I don't know. Anyways, never mind, I forgot her name. Um I don't even remember if they actually told her name to us. But yeah, um <clears throat> she she like he meets that the, 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 the sister over here. The sister helps him out and they are off and the sister actually says like oh like, you know, like I also have uh, I have information about this Pompey's treasure and she's like <clears throat> yeah there are snakes over there and for a moment when she bit his ear I, w I was thinking wait a minute is she supposed to be like a, I don't know some kind of it has some poison in his her mouth and he she bit him so maybe Rupan got poisoned or something like the, the title like you know kind of uh, like the title was like poison or snakes or something like that so i thought maybe she bit her and now rupan is going to get poisoned or something <laughs> but yeah nothing like that happened and <laughs> that's that was like she was acting so weirdly i was like like what is happening <laughs> and then she starts giggling i'm like okay this girl is crazy never mind <laughs> just <laughs> oh you know what? I was actually surprised to see Lupin actually not jumping on her, on top of her, like always, like, you know, Lupin, whenever, like, he, he comes in contact with a lady, a beautiful lady, she, he, he always tries to, like, you know, somehow, like, you know, <laughs> like, I was very surprised Lupin actually didn't do anything to her. I'm, I'm, I was really surprised. I, I thought Lupin was going to, like, gonna act all, like, you know, all just, as he usually acts whenever he sees, like, a lady. And... I was really surprised. I'm like, okay, like that's something new, I guess. <laughs> All right. Now, <clears throat> here Rupan starts reading about the books, the different, you know, like, uh, and, uh, like in the snakes. Now here, I kind of made a, made a mistake. I think I thought all, like, you know, all these snakes, like, you know, had like one single antidote. And Rupan was just reading of the amount of time it takes for the poison to infect. Uh, you know like poison him so i was like wait a minute couldn't he just like you know kind of make a estimate like okay like all the snakes they have like either 20 seconds or 30 seconds like you know time limit so let me just take an average like 15 seconds within 15 seconds you'll have to push in the antidote and that would like you know help him to like you know not remember so many different snakes how much time it takes for each snake but then later on i realized like each snake had a different antidote assigned to it and I'm like, oh, that was why he was actually trying to memorize all the different snakes and how much time it takes. It makes more sense now, like, because if all the snakes had one single antidote, then it wouldn't make sense why Lupin was actually trying to learn all the snakes and how many times it took. All the antidotes are different for different snakes. And like, yeah, obviously you have to then memorize everything. Um, so that's what he was doing. <clears throat> Fujiko's like, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. I hate snakes. Uh, like, I don't like it. Like, obviously, he, he, she herself doesn't like frogs. So I guess snakes are also something that she probably is not comfortable with. And I don't think anyone is comfortable with snakes. There probably should be very less amount of people. I guess people who, are, who work with snakes are like just, I don't know, somehow their jobs involve something with snakes. I'm guessing they are the only people who are comfortable with snakes. I don't think there's anyone in the world, any... Uh, you know, per person who is not involved with snakes, who doesn't, who is not comfortable with snakes. Everyone is uncomfortable with snakes. And that, you know, like that seemed like a nightmare, seen from a nightmare, like a little treasure on top of just like multiple snakes just on top of it. My God. <clears throat> and, okay, now they brought the antidote and everything. They're ready. They take a helicopter. There's like balloons in it, and I'm like, what are they doing with the balloons? They put the balloons down, and I'm, at first I thought that maybe the balloons had some kind of a 
leaping gas or something they use that so that the snakes will try to burst the balloon and the sleeping gas will like you know just come out and the snakes will fall asleep or something then when they were going to like you know, infiltrate using some gas mask or something i thought they were that's their what they're trying to do but rupan was riding the balloon i'm like oh my god <laughs> they go in and the snakes start having a complete field day they just like you know just starts biting into rupan whenever they can and rupan is just crazy afraid of like you know like just pushing up antidotes zenia <laughs> the pops up from somewhere and fujiko deals emotional damage to him she's like wait does it was it fujiko or who was it what's with um oh no it was jigen <laughs> he's like you don't have friends that's the reason why <laughs> senigata's like what am i doing with my life <laughs> oh. okay the balloon comes up he shoots it and the snakes just starts falling on him and i was surprised the snakes didn't bite his senigata at all <laughs> but yeah okay so everyone's like where is rupan now the sister comes and just greets everyone goes away and it took me a while to understand that rupan is inside and rupan is like all right so why did you save me you must have something to do with the treasure and she's like yeah definitely like, like definitely and then she uses the smoke uh like you know the the uh the sleeping gas or whatever puts rupan to sleep but rupan i'm pretty sure rupan just has like some kind of natural resistance now because i I've, i've seen rupan being kid like you know you just sleeping gas or stuff like that being loop, used on rupan multiple times so i think he probably has acquired some kind of inborn resistance to it now so uh, instead of like i don't know 15 minutes it takes him 5 minutes to wake up most probably so he woke up a little bit early and he's like okay so this is what's happening and he used the 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 handcuff now here's the thing here's where she like you know shows her face to us and i i wasn't able to un- like you know catch that it's the same girl when she starts talking about oh i'm going to like you know like what did he she say i'm going to go to I'll be happy with my men. Uh, there's macaroni. There's this person. There's that person. That's when it like you know I caught it. I'm like oh so this is the same girl and yeah then I realized like it's they're the same people. And as I said I don't know why it took me so much time to understand that but yeah I I really did not pay more much attention to that whole thing. <laughs> okay so Rupan uses the handcuff and thanks. to zenigata i guess for making something like that it really helped rupan out he used it to break the the hell hole like you know like the the thing um use the transmitter and get out of that place uh informed his crew and used like you know just put them to work they went to the different people and at first i thought they really had like a family or a wife or something like that you know and um but then i just you know realize like no none of them had it. probably like i don't know maybe they had a family what can you say like you know but at least these were not his actual original family these were fujiko and go um goemon yeah the first fa- house <laughs> the girl was like i'm oh, fine you know like i i have two others uh, let's go to the second one <clears throat> and he leaves goes to the second guy the second guy is like no the second white guy was actually jigen wasn't it yeah yeah it was jigen and he's like oh like <laughs> children here's your mother <laughs> she runs away again and the final the third and the final one was rupan and she became a little bit more cautious this time she's like oh wait a minute do you have a wife do you have family Um, are you a lady perhaps and like all these things she was asking and rupan is like okay enough is enough 
<laughs> oh my god this scene she's like she goes towards him and it's like maybe you're a lady and he's rupan's like don't joke about that just you know takes it out and she says <laughs> she just leaves she's like i really don't have luck you're not macaron you're a monkey and i'm like what <laughs> Then yeah, that's just having a laugh there. She's like, oh, like you know, like yeah, I got you there, Lupin. Ha ha. <laughs> she arrives and she just screams at the top of her lungs. <laughs> Says a gorilla and just. <laughs> I don't know why, but this scene just. I I wasn't able to like you know stop laughing at this scene. I think the most probably the way she screamed suddenly, like she was just walking there in a very casual manner, and Zenigata just laughing. As soon as she sees Zenigata, just screams like that. <laughs> that scream got me, I think, <laughs> and screams like a gorilla. <laughs> okay, now I'm surprised he said like okay, Rupan later on. I'm going to catch you later on. First. Uh, the treasure is the more priority and the lady we need to catch her and he goes towards them and Rupan as we see you know he he was ready he used the uh, the handcuff <laughs> you know the thing that always Zenigata used to capture him now it's being used against him to grab the treasure but the treasure it turns out it was just anti rose now I don't know what the hell like you know who they like, you know even put the antidotes over there and decided that it's like you know you know what like i'm going to uh use the snakes as like you know as like a defense mechanism against thieves or robbers who try to get this one so but you know what i guess if there was if someone was actually brave enough to go in there you know and and get the treasure He's probably going to get like you know just like, you know get got uh, what do you call it like you know just bitten by snakes. If, if still he just went he or she went and grabbed the treasure, opened it, they would be able to understand that like, oh like there are the antidotes and they can like you know consume it and be like you know be saved or something. Um, so nobody was like that. Nobody had the uh, courage to go in there and. <laughs> Something like that, I guess. Now, you know what? I feel like these antidotes, if they're sold or something. No, you know what? No, they, they already had the antidotes. It's just like, you know, but I. I feel like at, at that time, probably maybe in their older times, maybe these antidotes fetched a lot of money, you know, like if they were sold. But now due to science, scientific advancement, you already have these antidotes in the market so now it's of no use like i won't say no use but like in monetary value it's not that uh, it won't be that expensive maybe during that time it was crazy expensive or something and maybe it was like really like a treasure like you know you got it you sold it and you'd be like swimming in money because of how rare it was something like that but i guess maybe the the the, the uh, what do you call it the beakers in which the antidotes are maybe those maybe they, those will fetch quite a hefty sum those are like some antique stuff you know and not like you know not in a normal perspective but maybe in an archaeological or maybe a historic perspective these will be crazy expensive you know, these are like some really old stuff like i'm sure rupan will be able to find some like you know some use of it and like you know like Get a proper person like who knows maybe maybe there's like a crazy uh we'll call well, like a crazy obsessive person who's just obsessed with history you you you, you get to know about him and like and rupan just goes and he's like you know what i have these type of antique things how much will you pay and these people will pay a lot i i i feel like it you know like these people who collect these type of historical things like i'm sure they, they'll be able to somehow make use of them and you know get a lot of money yeah but yeah, that was it. That was the episode. My God, this episode was also hilarious. <laughs> the last scene was 
especially more hilarious. I don't know why I laughed so much at that scene, the whole gorilla scene. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, that's it. Um, now, <laughs> yeah, that was fantastic. Thanks for recommending these two episodes to me. And uh, yeah, so thank you for watching. If you guys enjoyed these two videos, be sure to press the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything else you want to let me know and i'll check them out also if you have any other more recommendations feel free to comment um i think today was these two episodes next week i'm going to do episode 143 145 that'll be next week there like i i have another week worth of episode that means i have four more episodes left to react to you know like it'll take two more weeks for me to complete reacting to them um if you want to recommend more stuff like you know episodes to me like i think four more episodes that's how much i i need uh if you want to recommend you can you feel free to more recommend uh more episodes to me like i'll i can react to four more after this and um uh yeah like after that i'll start season three and just like this, how I did this season two, I'll do it in a similar fashion. Two episodes per person you can recommend. So yeah, anyway, so two more weeks. Um, and if you recommend me more stuff, maybe th it will be three or four more weeks. So we'll see. So yeah, that's that's it. So I'll see you guys in the next week with another uh, with two more episodes of Rupan the Third. As I said, uh, 143 and 145 next week I'll be reacting to. So see you guys then. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.